Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's November 22nd, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of November 22nd, 2024, Black Hills Core has reached a value of $64.48 per share. Opal Fuels Incorporated is now at $3.69 per share. Forum Energy Technologies is now sitting at $15.34 per share. Evergy Incorporated ended the day at $64.55 per share. And Clean Energy Fuels Core is now at $2.77 per share. But first up in the news, this past week the Biden administration warned governors that quote-unquote disabling cyber attacks are targeting drinking water and wastewater systems throughout the country and urged them to help identify and address any vulnerabilities. According to a letter from Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Michael Regan and White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, water and wastewater systems can represent an attractive target for cyber attacks because of their essential nature and the frequent lack of, quote, resources and technical capacity to adopt rigorous cybersecurity practices, end quote. The letter went on to say that, quote, even basic cybersecurity precautions, such as resetting default passwords or updating software to address known vulnerabilities, are not in place and can mean the difference between business as usual and a disruptive cyber attack, end quote. And up next, moving to Canada for a second, Quebec is set to ban fossil fuel natural gas heating in homes by 2040. Environmental groups are praising the province's plan to ban fossil fuel-based natural gas heating in homes by the set year in an effort to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Energier, the private company that distributes approximately 97% of gas consumed in Quebec to more than 200,000 customers, is backing the province's targets. It is certainly worth noting, however, the new regulations will only restrict residential, commercial, and institutional buildings from being heated by fossil fuels. Industrial buildings will be exempt, which represent about 60% of fossil fuel consumption within the province. And next... Thanks largely to the explosion of renewable energy over the past few years, experts are now projecting that the market for renewable natural gas, compressed natural gas, and hydrogen tanks is projected to reach $6.6 billion U.S. by 2032, exhibiting a compound annual growth rate of 7.9% within that time period. Governments around the world, particularly in Europe, North America, and Asia, have introduced incentives and regulations encouraging the shift to renewable natural gas and compressed natural gas. For instance, the European Union has implemented a series of policies aimed at reducing carbon emissions, including tax breaks and subsidies for companies adopting CNG vehicles. Similarly, several U.S. states have introduced funding programs to support the adoption of RNG and CNG powered fleets, helping spur the market even further. And now moving to New Mexico, National Renewable Solutions, or NRS, a U.S.-based renewable energy developer, owner, and operator, announced this past week it has closed on $145 million in project financing for its 50-megawatt storage project located in Rio Ariba County, New Mexico, called the Shallow Basket Project, which is currently under construction and expected to begin operations in 2025. Guzman Energy will purchase 100% of the power and associated renewable attributes, but the construction financing is being provided by Deutsche Bank. Jeremy Eisman, head of infrastructure and energy financing at Deutsche Bank, said, quote, 
we are proud to support NRS with the financing of the Shallow Basket Project. This project builds on Deutsche Bank's dedication and expertise in providing bespoke and creative capital solutions to support the renewable energy transition. End quote. And just a quick reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or you can even set up a personalized presentation by calling 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Going back to the Midwest for a second, Lincoln, Nebraska recently made a choice on which company to partner with for a brand new biogas facility. Following 10 responses for proposals, Lincoln chose Spark Renewables, an Oklahoma City-based company, to build the $50 million facility at their local landfill. The city plans to enter a 15-year contract with Spark Renewables with two five-year renewals. Lincoln officials estimate the project will generate $96 million over the next 20 years. Liz Elliott, Lincoln's Transportation and Utilities Director, said, quote, It's still a newish, sustainable innovation that allows us to make progress on our climate action plan, gives us an economic driver because we will be reinvesting it into the solid waste program and providing essential services to Lincoln, end quote. Now moving to New York, a brand new renewable natural gas facility from company DTE Vantage recently began operations in Scipio Center, New York. The project is a collaboration with Sunnyside Farm, which manages approximately 9,000 head of cattle and will reduce greenhouse gas emissions in both the immediate area and transportation markets where RNG is used. Kevin Dobson, vice president of biomass with DTE Vantage, said, quote, This RNG project is our first in New York and affirms Vantage's position as one of the largest RNG producers in the United States. As a decarbonization leader, we are committed to implementing renewable energy solutions across the country to benefit the communities where we live and serve, end quote. And now going back across the country, Divert, an impact technology company, and Pacific Gas and Electric, or PG&E, have announced a first-of-its-kind interconnection in the state of California to address the wasted food crisis. Divert's facility in Turlock, California, is now processing unsold food products into carbon-negative renewable energy, which is being injected into PG&E's natural gas transmission line. The CEO and co-founder of Divert, Ryan Begin, said, quote, This is a remarkable clean energy milestone that reflects the hard work, dedication, and world-class talent of every individual who has contributed to bringing this project to life. Together with PG&E, we are providing carbon-negative renewable energy to Californians, bringing the state one step closer to achieving its climate and clean energy goals. The Turlock facility represents a significant step forward in addressing the dual environmental and social crises of wasted food and underscores diverts leadership in scaling sustainable infrastructure solutions for the energy sector. End quote. And now finishing our day back in the Midwest, Vision RNG recently signed a 20-year renewable natural gas agreement with LP Gill Incorporated, a subsidiary of Waste Connections. The Jackson, Nebraska project will initially convert 1,200 cubic feet per minute of landfill gas into 310,000 British thermal units of renewable natural gas annually, with production expected to grow over the life of the contract. The renewable natural gas will then be injected into a nearby pipeline and used across the U.S. for transportation fuel and other sustainable applications. The plant is expected to be operational in 2027. Bill Johnson, the CEO of Vision RNG, said, quote, We are excited to further expand our partnership with Waste Connections. 
the addition of LP Gill Landfill to our growing portfolio of RNG projects is a significant step forward. By capturing and converting methane into clean RNG, we are not only reducing greenhouse gas emissions, but also beneficially repurposing the gas in a sustainable manner. End quote. But that will do it for your November 22nd, 2024 News Roundup, brought to you by Recyclist, a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we will see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you. Thank you.